Well, yeah, I thought we had our chances in the eighth and ninth, really. We should have put it away then, but it was great to, to win those kind of games. When, you know, we're playing better and uh, we're having some good results. And, you know, we, it just set up real well for us. We're Paul, the type of guy, you know, to squeeze and tie it up that we really have a lot of confidence in. And, uh, you know, he's a short game type guy and, and he's a diligent bunner. And uh, so I figured we'll go on a second pitch and, uh, you know, it worked out well. And then Kellen kind of coming up there in that situation. They were on the rope right there, and, and you know, he just squared one up, and hit it hard. And, and so it, it was a good win for them. Can you kind of talk about your approach with the squeeze? I mean, that seems like a play that you're not afraid to, to do. Uh, what, what, how do you uh, how do you practice that? Well, we do practice it, um, but it's you know, game situations a little bit different. You got to have the right people, you got to have the right personnel up, so you feel comfortable about them. You also have to have a good guy at third base who can maybe put on a brakes if it's you know, not, not going to work out. So. Um, you know, you just have to you have to be aggressive, and, and uh, you got to practice it. You got to know your personnel, and you got to you got to take chances once in a while too. I mean, I, it was a game that we you know we almost lost, and I just figured we needed to do something more aggressive to give ourselves a chance to get up over the hump. Would you say Paul is like an ideal guy to have perfect in that guy. situation? Perfect guy, just set up perfectly. He's, you know, he's uh, he, he, he pays attention to detail. He's a good short uh, hit run type guy, a bunner, and, and it was perfect. I figured I'd let him see one pitch, and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. Um, it's now four game winning streak. You think that gives the team an added confidence going into more eight ten play, especially this afternoon? Definitely. Yeah, I get a big series against uh, LaSalle. I'd much rather go in on a win streak, feeling good about yourselves. And, um, you know, you feel good about everything, you know, hitting, pitching, fielding, and, and just overall chance to win the ball game. So, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, they're a good ball club, LaSalle, and they're up you know, they're in the top four. I think. Um, so, uh, you know, it's much better going in with a win. And can you give your thoughts on the uh, defensive play today, especially a few times getting out of jams late? In the Turned some double game. plays in the middle early, and uh, you know, we made some nice plays at the end, too, as well. I, I thought we played pretty well defensively. I think you know, we're starting to settle in with a pretty consistent lineup. And, uh, you know, guys like Kevin Hagel coming through uh, in certain situations. Trying to make as many things happen as possible. That's, what I, that's the way I like to play, and the way we, leave, we like to play, really. And uh, you know, it, it's, so far, it's going pretty well right now. And then, uh, last question: Can you give your thoughts on DJ's starting? Yeah, real good to see him. You know, he kind of struggled early, and then he settled down and gave us some real good innings. And, you know, and he pitched very well. Gave us a chance to win the ball game. And, uh, it's nice to see him do that. And of course, uh, uh, Ryan's given us some good quality innings too, as well. And, uh, you know, really for Jordan, it was a tune-up type situation and a situational out right there. So that was nice. What you think the infield play we had DJ too? I mean, he got out of a bunch of jams. There was three yeah. double plays in a row. It was, it was uh, yeah, I thought we were solid on defense today. And, uh, you, know, you know, to turn a double play and get out of jams, that's, that's a big, big advantage. And, uh, yeah, we turned our share, and it was some really good ones today. And, uh, and uh, one more thing, uh, the offense is really turned it around. I mean, the, going to this home stand, I think you're about around 222. It's around the team average around 250 now. What, what do you see differently from this offense? Uh, we, we've got a bigger, stronger lineup in there. You know, guys who, who uh, have the threat of hitting the ball over somebody's head. And, you know, we can't get pinched so much in the outfield. And I think that's making a difference for us. Uh, you know, you get some big, strong guys. I mean, they're going to play deep. And then, you know, as we as we played more, guys are getting more comfortable and they're getting their hands extended a little bit more. And, uh, so, you know, it's just a combination of those two things. But, um, you know, I, I think it's important that we build a big, strong lineup of guys that can barrel up the ball and you know, hit the ball hard. If you hit the ball hard, you got a better chance of getting a hit. Um, well, really just finding a, a pitch that I could square up. You know, hopefully, hopefully hit it somewhere far enough out the infield that a, a pitch park can tag up and come home. I mean, Paulie had a great bunt to play before, and uh, you know, Bobby had a great hit, you know, starting us off, and uh, really just trying to find a picture that I could drive some money. Um, your team as a whole had a lot of two-out opportunities today. How do you think you guys did with that at the point, especially late in the games? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we got the, the W, which is the main thing. Uh, you know, we've been playing really good baseball recently, and uh, we, we definitely had some chances earlier on to kind of put this game uh, in our favor and everything, but uh, everyone battled the pitchers through. Well, and we play a great defensive game. And do you personally feel more comfortable for the season goes on? Because I know you're transitioning from football. Yeah, no, uh, every at bat you know, I get, I, I feel a little more settled down and everything. And uh, every pitch I see, it looks a little bit, a little bit easier to pick up and everything. So yeah, I'm getting more comfortable. Uh, well, I know, you know, we practice quite a bit, and uh, 
Going up for the plate, I kind of had a feeling that coach was going to be a sign, and uh, you know he prepares us pretty well. We practice it a lot of times, and uh, I was just happy to be able to come up and get it done for, for us. And I mean, you came in late in the game, and I mean, obviously that was a huge contribution. Your thoughts when you uh, made it safely to first and he scores? Uh, that was that was even that was a bonus because I knew you know keep the inning going there and uh, give us a, a shot to win the game. And fortunately, Kelly came through for us, and uh, we were able to take it. Just any general thoughts on this offense? Did they really, you guys have really turned it around in this home stand. What do you see differently from the offense? Uh, I think we're just uh, being more selective with the plate and uh, having a better approach, uh, trying to hit the ball in the middle opposite way and, uh, you know, trying to work counts and create opportunities for ourselves to put some runs on the board. And we've uh, really been swinging the bats well. Do you feel confident coming in any situation? Because I think you came in as a sacrifice. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, Coach does a great job of preparing us. And I know that, you know, at any given time, I can come in off the bench and just want to help out.